<laughs> what are you doing, my friend? Sonny, you really want me to tell you what I'm doing? What are you doing All right. right now? Alright, well, in a world where every single Nissan is broken, only one hero chooses to rise above the rest. <laughs> <laughs> All my cars are broken. <laughs> one hero rises. <laughs> What? <laughs> Why is that like that? Because every fucking Nissan is broken. Look, <laughs> that Nissan is broken. <laughs> Your Nissan is broken. Hey. That Nissan is broken. <laughs> hey, let me show you this one. Over here, the rarest <laughs> Nissan of them all. They're fucking broken. Yeah. <laughs> and then also, to you watching, your Nissan's probably broken too. <laughs> this one is in the process of being broken. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 What's going on everybody and welcome back to another lit episode with a Sunday. <laughs> Just kidding guys, um, I checked the stats last night and I found out that some of you guys haven't already subscribed yet. Actually 40% of you guys watch my videos but don't subscribe. So please do me a favor, go down and hit the subscribe button right now for more lit content. But it's up right now, let's go ahead and work on DSR. In the previous episode, I told you guys that the motor mount is too big. It's too thick to the point that it raised the engine up. So now I won't be able to close the hood. And that is why we came up with a new way. Matt actually told me to use hockey puck as motor mounts. And I was like, at first I was like, wait, what? That doesn't make any sense because you know like I never, I've never heard of that theory before but I guess I looked it up and it's, it's a thing like people use hockey pucks as like engine mounts, motor mounts, even coilovers so they'll, they'll have to strut and they'll take out the springs and they'll have like five six hockey pucks you know kind of like stack up and they use that as their spring so there will be like no travel you know, like 100% stiffness so their car won't even like bounce at all you know what i mean so i was like whoa dude that's actually kind of cool i guess in a way i don't know i looked it up and it's just that it's like the the, the response is like 50 50. some people love it some people hate it or some people don't even know and they just hate it because they never tried it before so today we're going to be trying something new uh, here we go so these are the hockey pucks that i'm going to be using for my motor mounts i'm just going to be drilling one hole right here and then bolted in and that is pretty much it i'm actually going to be using one for each side and we'll see where the motor sits if the oil pants is too low i have spacers to raise up the engine so huge shout out to matt for telling me this technique and you know kind of showing me what to do so let's go let's go ahead and uh, try it out i'm excited yo my hair is actually kind of messy today so don't mind that guys because um I woke up like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Very good, sir. Oh, shit. It's kind of crooked. <laughs> Oops. So, um, do you think if it matters if it's not center? <laughs> Bro, how did you do that? <laughs> Bro. Well, it's just a little bit, right? Well, let me test if this is the right side here. <laughs> bro, you should have oh, a little bit. Bro, what oh, do you mean? Look, 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 look at that. It's in the, it's in the middle. <laughs> what the hell? Vented hood and notch the vent out. Man, you know what? A lot of people tell me that too. Cut out the hood, make a hole. No, no, just no. Yeah, I'll probably get the vented hoods later on, but it's up right now. I just want a hood. Those motor mounts. Fire. What? Those? Those? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah I, I know. Them. I know for sure, but I can't run them. So, if you guys want them, hit me up. Now that I got the hockey pucks ready, let's go ahead and take those out and replace them with these.
once again, we uh -huh. ran into some problems. <sighs> so first of all, <laughs> yeah. We're trying to use these hockey puck motor mounts, but unfortunately, I mounted one side and that side was in, but on the other side, it has like a two inch gap. So there's no way that I could use those motor mounts. Randy had a spare of the poly motor mounts and I put them in, and those are in. No problem there. Then, <laughs> we ran into another problem. So the engine is in, it's mounted down, right? But the transmission... The transmission mount is about an inch, inch and a half away from... The chassis. Lining up onto the chassis, so... And check this out. So... And look how long this And is. this is the bolt that it came with. Yeah, so it has to touch, but I have an idea. Why does he want this? Da, 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 let me show you guys a closer look of what we're dealing with here, man. The top of the trans is hitting the chassis right here, so it's pretty much cap out. Even if I jack the trans up, it will pretty much jack up the whole car. I called the previous owner of the SR, and he said that it used to be in an S13. Direct bolt in, direct drop in. He didn't have to hammer the firewall. He didn't have to do any modification to the trans or the engine itself or the engine mount either. So I don't know. There's something missing here. There's something that I don't know about. Some information has not been told or I don't know. I even looked it up on Google and it says that Z32 trans with a SR20, it should drop right into the S chassis. But it is not in this case, so. No? You're not done yet? Yeah, look at here to work on cars for me today. Your turn. Yeah, come on now. Yeah. Hey, 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 my AC needs to work. Come on. <laughs> Alright, guys. Um, a quick little information right here. Isaac is actually single, so if all the ladies out there. You guys trying to, you know, get wiped I, up. No, no, you guys trying no, to find a daddy. No. No. <laughs> oh no. You know Isaac? No. I know that he's gonna fall in love and never see his ass. <laughs> oh, you are right. This man is a lover. Ladies, a lover. Stay away from him, all right? We need him. <laughs> no, I'm <just> kidding. <laughs> head this way. <laughs> Isaac. My boys, yup. Head this way. <laughs> Hey, single and ready to mingle. <laughs> Anyways, back to this. Let me go ahead and... I don't know. Look around. <laughs> Trying to figure out what's wrong here and I will get back to you guys when... <laughs> when I figure it out. <laughs> 20 minutes later. Alright guys, I ended up pulling out the engine because... I didn't know what else to do besides hammering up the firewall right here. Um, I see that there's some scratches of the paint I painted before and uh, maybe that's the spots where I have to hammer it up and able to make some space for the Z32 trans. So, here we go. Son, son, let me help you. What? Jessica said, when you guys get married, you have to sell all of your cars. Hell no, I ain't selling all my cars! No! Okay, okay, maybe one car. <laughs> <laughs> it is the next day. I spent a couple hours last night hammering up the firewall, so hopefully that works. I'm not so sure because, you know, I talked to people and they said that it should be a direct drop-in. But it's not working out for me. I don't know why. So um, I'm just gonna have to do step by step. Yo, but for real though, back to these hockey pucks. If you guys do want to try it out, I would definitely recommend it because they look pretty solid. The reason why I'm not using it because I think I need two of these on each side. 
or else there's gonna be a fat gap and there's no way it can use one. I talked to some of the drift guys and they said that a lot of people are actually running those. You know, it's cheap, it's affordable, it works great, it doesn't rip or anything. And also it would not vibrate your car. A lot of people said that it's gonna be shaking the whole car. I don't think so because Matt is running it and I tried it out and bro, it's, the car is smooth. The engine is not even moving at all. And the interior, I felt it. It felt like the engine was not even on. That's the cool part about it. Other than that guys, round two. Let's go ahead and drop in the engine once again. So Mikey's the strong one. Mikey's gonna pass it to me. Oh, Mikey was yeah. strong. And then the stronger one <laughs> is gonna receive. And then I'm gonna drop it right here. I'm gonna move back. Oh. Oh. Ah, yeah. <laughs> and then the windshield cracks. <laughs> what? Drop me in, baby. <laughs> <laughs> one second, one second. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, 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 perfect. Good, it's ready. Is it? That's it? Started. Shit! Start starting right now? Uh, oh, started, it's, it's ready. Started. Go. <laughs> oh shit, that's all battery. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, boys, the motor is in. That was hella fast. But, it still doesn't run. <laughs> So here's a moment of truth. I'm gonna go ahead and get under there and see if the trans will melt. Let me show you guys Whoa! what I was dealing with or been dealing with. Light, that's the adapter for the trans because it's Z32 to S chassis. Now, as you can see, that's bolting up because it was actually running this a rubber piece you know, bushing. It was on top of this adapter and that is why there was a two inch gap because this thing came with the kit but I don't think we need it. I don't know. It came with the whole motor, it came with the whole trans and I thought this is part of it but apparently it is not. So, I took that out and the trans bolts right in. Look at this. I got one in. Let me go ahead and try the other one. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Probably need some adjustment, but hey, at least it's on, right? Let's go. And with that, uh, dude, I didn't need to change the motor mount. I didn't need to ham up the firewall. All that work was um, pretty much for nothing, so yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Don't do that again. Son, huh? that'd be a shame if you're missing some bolts, huh? Oh, what? What? That'd be a shame you're missing some bolts, huh? Why? I don't know, I can make it happen. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, I ripped my jeans even more. <laughs> the car is sitting pretty low now that it's not on the not really. jacks no more. Not really. What do you mean? Well, it's low, look. It's low, bruh. Look. Look at it. Woo! Yeah, I you guess, huh? You were so low before you fucked up your rims. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can't wait to drive this thing. It's coming together. Guys, the motor is in, the trans is in. Next up, wiring harness, intercooler, all that good stuff. Um, but as of right now, this, this is pretty much it. What do you think? Dude. What do I think? I think it's great. Seems like every other car I own. Chill! Okay. Not yet! It's not running. Hey! Nissan. Can't wait to be driving this thing and then break it again. Can't wait to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, yeah, back to the hockey pucks. Let me know down in the comments below if those will vibrate because I looked up on, you know, forums and like on the internet and stuff. I couldn't really find much information about it. I really want to try it out. Other than that, guys, this is a wrap. So thank you so much for watching our videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all next time.